Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, dude. Mm. Hey everybody, well, finally closed on the house and yesterday and I got my keys today. I have a whole lot of nothing in my house. So I figured I'd show you around real quick. Here's the outside. Nice place. Neighborhood, I mean, it's a brand new neighborhood and they're still building. They've only got a handful of houses built. So that'll be a little bit of a pain in the neck right now as they build all these houses, but this is the only street that has houses on it. And there's like half a dozen or so houses. And then you'll have all of this back here. We'll have houses. But yeah, I mean, really nice. Let's get a better look there. Side of the house. It's got a nice backyard and about a quarter acre. It's all sodded up, so this would be nice. Let the dog run around, and come back here and shoot my bow. Don't have any neighbors behind us, so that's something. Get a fence up and get a deck up. Doesn't have the walkout basement, which is fine. Quite honestly, I didn't really want the walkout. It'd be kind of nice to have one and be down there hanging out. You can come out and grill or whatever, but uh, for me, I kind of think this is nice because it's a nice flat yard. Um, and you don't have a bunch of stairs going down from a deck. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty excited. It's got this little retention pond over here. Hoping I can use this for walking over here and get some work for Lily. Yeah, there you go. There you have it. Dining room. Coming into the real nice kitchen. Really nice kitchen. We've got gas uh, cooktop and then built-in microwave and stove. It's an electric stove, which is fine. Nice little refrigerator and a walk-in pantry. It's got these nice floors. I really like these floors. You know, our little living room and nice backyard. Got to get a fence put up there. It's new construction. So I got a, in a deck, got the little safety fence thing here so you don't walk out and die dropping 30 inches off the back, I guess. So yeah, pretty excited. This will be the wife's office space here. I think she's pretty excited about having this. And then uh, it's got a basement, which is pretty cool. First time I've had a basement in my adult life, partially finished. We're going to use this for our uh, entertainment room, hang out, watch movies and stuff. And it's got an unfinished section here that I'm going to get finished. So we've got a, this would be like for a bedroom over here. Well, that's what it's designed for. You can finish it out as a bedroom. Um, and it's already pre-plumbed for a bathroom. Yeah. So. This would be nice, you know, I have, have a bedroom closet and a bathroom and then this bedroom here. But I'm gonna finish this out at some point and uh, intent is to turn this into my office. That'll be the uh, Old Breed Outdoors North office, ideally. Yeah, that's the plan at least. And uh, have a nice little space and it'll help with the resale too. My wife works from home, so having that office down here on the first floor be super nice. We're supposed to be getting our, well, trying to get our household goods up here next week and get the wife and daughter up here next week. Got nice two bedrooms up here. Bedroom. Got the bathroom. Bedroom. It's little bedrooms. They're decent sized bedrooms. And it's got this huge loft area up here, which would be nice. A lot of closet space. One nice thing, DR Horton hooked it up. We got a brand new washer and dryer. I have to do my laundry instead of having to go to the laundromat. <laughs> it's nice, but I have nothing in the house. Now 
master bedroom right here nice room and then a real nice master bath real nice got the big shower before taking a nice shower in that big thing the wife is super excited about this bathtub and then plenty of counter space so that the wife can spread all her stuff out and they will walk in closet. Yeah. Pretty nice. Spend a fortune, but whatever. As long as mama's happy, right? Gotta put some ceiling fans in. COVID stuff. It's kind of put a damper on everything. The uh, Department of Defense has you know, the travel restrictions for, you know, everywhere, domestic and international. So I can't technically drive down to Florida and they can't drive up here and I can't have my stuff moved without an exemption approval. So I've got to, right now I've been working the last week and a half trying to route exemption requests up to my chain of command so I can get all my stuff moved, you know, packed up by the movers who moved up here and then uh, go down there and help the girls get, you know, packed up in the car and get the dogs and drive up here and get settled. So. Keep my fingers crossed that by the end of next week, we'll have all our stuff moved in and all of us will be together and uh, can move out of the Airbnb and kind of start getting situated. It's been a rough kind of go simply because, I mean, everything that's going on obviously causes a lot of stress and then just, you know, I haven't had a chance to settle at all. Living in the Airbnb, trying to get used to the new job and then all this going on they kind of have us doing a have me doing a different assignment right now in support of this COVID stuff in the Marine Corps and uh, which is why I've been working nights and then you know just trying to get you know, the family here I'll be really glad and get them up here at least get them up here we can all be together you know everybody's safe I've just been stressed out you know not having them here, worrying about them, and all those things. So it'll definitely be very nice to get everybody here, and get settled and start getting the house squared away the way we want it. Be a family again, because it really hasn't been a whole lot of fun doing this part thing. It's old, been doing it a lot, since, you know, our entire marriage. And kind of hoping when getting here, we'd kind of be able to settle down a little bit with that, but you know, the way things go, and I, I can't complain too much. Um, I was thinking about it the other night, and I was frustrated, and cranky with things, and you know, I had to remind myself, you know, I, I don't have it all that bad. You know, I've got some frustrations and some first world problems, if you will, but my family's safe, I'm safe, I got a job, my wife's got a job. You know, there's a lot of people out there that can't say that. You know, a lot of people are sick out there. There's a lot of people who are struggling, you know, for work and trying to pay their bills. And I just bought a brand new house. So, I mean, I can't complain. It'd be wrong of me to complain too much. So, it doesn't mean I'm not frustrated, you know, being apart from the family and wanting to get some normalcy. I think we all want some normalcy. But, uh, anyway, thought I'd just show you guys around the house real quick and, uh, I'm going to head back to the other place where I have a bed and things to cook food with and <laughs> all that stuff. Work on some homework and uh, have another long night of sitting on the couch in the dark. Super exciting. But uh, thanks for following along and talk to you again soon. See you.